How's it going everyone? This video is going to be over dealing ranges and displacement ranges. I know a lot of people get confused on which highs and which lows to use, external and internal liquidity, so hopefully this quick video will help clear some of those things up. So the first thing we're going to go over are dealing ranges. The easiest way to do this is zoom your screen in and look exactly where price is at. Where is a high and a low? It's as simple as that. So here's a high, here's a low. That is your dealing range. So then if you take a fib from high to low of that, that's your dealing range. And as you notice, people will say this is external liquidity right here and right here. But if you notice, as you zoom out, that external liquidity becomes internal liquidity. So don't get too caught up in that. So as you zoom out even further, you can notice you get a high and a low, right? So now you have a whole new dealing range from here to there, there to there. So you can have multiple dealing ranges like that, but it's important to just notice where is price trading and what are you looking for? So normally when I'm observing price action during the New York morning session, so as we skip forward to the New York morning session, which is right about here, 8.30 start, and then we get into 9.30. So price is trading right here. Now these dealing ranges right here aren't really valid, right? Because price is higher than that. So zoom out a little. This is the high we're working with, and this is the low we're working with. So drawing our fib from this high to this low, that is our whole dealing range. So you can see we're in a premium of the dealing range here. However, you also wanna look at displacement ranges. Displacement ranges are aggressive price action moves over structure. Right, so you can see aggressive price action up right here to that high. That is your displacement range. And ideally, you want to see a retracement to a discount before going long. So, keeping that in mind, I would want to see a retracement of this price leg right here if we're going to continue higher. And there you go, we get our retracement into a discount of a displacement leg before we get a price movement. And now you can see we reach higher. Where is our new displacement range? Well, right there. So ideally you'd wanna see either a reach for the high or a retracement back down. There you go. Reach for some highs. So hopefully that helps out in terms of displacement and dealing ranges. We're gonna do a few more examples and how you can incorporate OTE. So looking at this price action here, you can see we're starting to get a displacement leg right here, right? Where is our dealing range? Well, here's a high and here's a low. So if we mark out our range on the side, we know that we are in a discount down here and a premium down here. So ideally too long, you would want to see a discount in here and a discount of a displacement range. So drawing out this fib, what you do is I take the low that started this displacement range, which broke this structure. So right here, and I will follow this up as it goes. And then that will be the range I'm looking to long in. So as it continues higher, you follow it up. Continues higher, follow it up. And now you can see we're in a premium of this dealing range. So if you were looking for short opportunities, this is where you'd wanna be looking. But we're looking for longs. So now we get a move down. Where do we wanna see this move? Into a discount and ideally OTE. What do we have right here? An order block, right? So ideally you wanna search for PD arrays within these points of interest. So as we go lower, you can see, reach into that order block and you can see how the candles do not close in respect of this order block and we get our move higher. You can see discount of the displacement range, discount of the dealing range. This is where you want to be looking too long. Let's say you missed that entry. You would want to see if you can get another entry in a discount of the dealing range and a discount of this displacement range. So marking out this displacement range, we will see if it gives another opportunity. So you follow this high up. So you can see, 
Fetch over this high, didn't displace, we'll see if it does. So it comes back down. And you can see, where did it reach? Well, 0.62 right there. Here's our order block. And you can see that is also below this dealing range right here. So that would be your second long entry targeting this high. And you can see price went up, broke that high, and then moved lower. So hopefully this is a good example and you guys can kind of learn something from it. If you need any more examples or have questions, please reach out in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed it and have a great day. See ya.